So let us see the comparison between C and C++ or differences between C and C++. C was developed by Dennis Ritchie at AT&T Bell Labs between 1969 and 1973. While C++ was developed by Yane Stoffstruff at Bell Labs starting in 1979. C, as far as source code is concerned, C is free format program source code, while C++ for, was originally developed from the C programming language. In terms of language, C is a procedural or procedure oriented language. While C++ it supports both procedure or procedural, also the object oriented programming paradigms. So it is kind of a hybrid language. With respect to approach, C follows a top-down approach while C++ follows the bottom-up approach. C is a subset of C++. It cannot run C++ code while C++ is a superset of C. That means if C++ is like this, C++, then C is inside C. So C++ is a superset of C and C++ can run most of the C code while C may not be able to run C++ code. The drive C is a function driven language while the main idea in C++ is object so it is object driven language. The focus with respect to the focus the C focuses on method or process rather than the data while the C++ focuses on data rather than the method or procedure. The building blocks in C are functions while in C++ they are objects. The keywords C contains uh, uh, you know, 32 keywords almost while C++ has 52 and it depends you know these varies because C++ uh, 11 etc they they are coming up and they have changed the things so while I'm speaking the numbers are like this. What about the OOPS concepts? C language is a procedure ori oriented language so it does not support OOPS concept like class, object, inheritance, polymorphism or data hiding while C++ being an object oriented language. It supports class, object, data, hiding, polymorphism, inheritance and abstraction. In terms of functions, it does not support function and operator overloading. It cannot use functions inside these structures. It does not support virtual functions and reference variables. While C++ support function and operator overloading, it can use function inside the structures also. We call them uh, in, the, in the terms of uh, C, they were called structures, but now we have functions inside the structure. C++ support virtual functions and also a reference variable and C++ support exception handling using try and catch construct. C does not support exception handling, does not support reference variables, does not have any namespace feature and can call main function through other functions. While in the C++, uh, sup it supports exception handling using try and catch. Okay. And this block, try and catch a block or construct. So exceptions are used for hard errors that make the code incorrect. It supports namespaces and reference variables and this namespace feature which avoids the name collisions or the you know, function name collisions. And in C++, we cannot call main function through other function. In C, we can. What about the memory functions? C uses calloc, malloc and free function for allocating and deallocating memory. And C++ uses new and delete for the same purpose. What about encapsulation? C does not support encapsulation. Data and functions are separate and free entities. While encapsulation in terms of C++, it supports. Data and functions are encapsulated together in the format from an object. An object class provides a blueprint of the structure of the object. Information hiding. C does not support information hiding. The data and are free entities and can be manipulated by the outside code. While in C++, encapsulation hides the data to ensure the data structure and operators they are used as intended. While data is concerned, C supports built-in and primitive data types. C++ also supports built-in and user data types. C, the data is not secure due to non-object oriented. While in C++, data is hidden and secured. In terms of level, C is low level language. C++ is middle level language. The input output, C language uses scanf and printf for input output. C++ uses C in and C out operators for input and output. In terms of declaration of variables, C require one to declare all the variables and the top of the program. You, you have to declare it on the top. In C++ variable can be declared anywhere wherever you require before in the program before it can be used. The variables, if it is not used, then you can just uh, at anywhere you can find the place and play, declare it. 
Multiple declaration, multiple declaration of global variables are allowed, while the multiple declaration of global variables are not allowed in C++. In terms of mapping, mapping between data and function is quite difficult and complicated, while the data and function, they are mapped very nicely in, in uh, C++ using objects. GUI programming, C supports GTK tool, and GUI programming, C supports QD tools for GUI programming. Inheritance, inheritance is not possible in C, inheritance is possible in C++. File extension is .c, in C++ it is .cpp and uh, the default header file of C is stdo.h, the default header file using C++ is iostream.h, it is iostream, iostream, REM. Let us see a few more differences uh, with example also. Variable declaration is only on the top like int i, if you are using it i on i is from there you have to declare it on the top. C++ anywhere in the program like this inside for also. Memory allocation using malloc like int star x is equal to malloc size of int. Now malloc returns what? It returns uh, the void data type. So you have to do the uh, you know casting if you have to use it int. Okay? Then you have to give the size also size of. This is how you allocate in C while in C++ new int star x is equal to new int. New star x array if you want to give an array, new int 10. Otherwise, in malloc you have to give 10 for the array if the array size is 10. Releasing memory you use free x or free x array. Why? In C++ you use delete x and for deleting the array you use delete then the square bracket and the name of the array. Right? C is a structured or procedural programming language. C is object oriented. The emphasis uh, is on the function or procedure or steps to solve any problem. While in C++ emphasis is on the real life, real life entity that is an object other than the procedure. In C functions are the fundamental building block, objects are the fundamental building block in C++. Data is not secured in C, data is hidden and cannot be accessed by external function in C++. You use public, private, protected, etc. C follows top down, C++ follows bottom up approach. C uses scanf and printf for input output, C++ uses C in and C out. Variables must be defined at the beginning in the function, but modern C compilers as I suggested as GCC support the C99 and C11 standards which allow you to declare variable anywhere. So C99, C11. Variable can be defined anywhere. In C, namespaces are absent. In C++, you have namespaces. C L is middle level language. C++ is high level language. The programs are divided into modules. So the, the programming is modular into functions. The programs are divided into classes and then inside class you have functions. C does not support exception handling directly but you can do it by using some other function. But in C++, we have try and catch block for exception handling. The features like function overloading and operator overloading not there. C++ function overloading, operator overloading are present. .c, .cpp are the default extensions. Thank you so much. This was about this differences between C and C++.